Welcome everybody to Rafa Plays Video Games, the place where you get to watch me play video games you've probably already played and probably played them better. Well today I'm going to play Batman Arkham Knight. I've played it many times before, past the story, still trying to tie up some loose ends, but I'm on a Batman kick right now so I thought I'd play it again. I really am on a Batman kick. Even, damn Charlie, what's up man? He wants in on the Batman action. Reading through the current DC Rebirth line, so... I thought I'd play some Batman, you know? Nothing better than getting your hands dirty and just fucking up some criminals. And here we go. The Arkham series is a fantastic, phenomenal series of video games. All right, let's see, trying to go through Batman, running, you know, hold on, X, all right, I'm fighting, from a yeah, Combo right Master, best martial artist in the DC Universe, all right, this, that, cape, there we go, all right, jumping, yep, all right, I think I got the basic controls down from what I remember, I haven't played this game in a while, let's grapple, and this is it, this is Gotham City, look at this stunning, yeah, gorgeous right. visuals. And this is what I love about Rocksteady's Arkham series, it's the map is so expansive and you can do things like that. I mean, I'm fucking flying. All of this right here is worth the game in itself. Besides the phenomenal story, I mean, I'm able to just go around and just use my bat claw and grapple all over the city. Tricks, dips, detonate the shockwave. Whatever it is, all of it is so cool. And it's kind of like those games where you're watching Tony Hawk's Pro Skater or Spider-Man. The replay value is so great because you just can't stop. Whether you're web-slinging through the city or doing tricks all over the monuments, this right here makes the game itself worth it. I mean, look at this, how cool I look. Being the Batman, touching down, walking menacingly through the streets. Let a bad guy come and see me. I feel completely engrossed being the Batman. And the combat system itself is also great. I mean, visually stunning, fighting is fun, the story itself is amazing, and oh, here we go, let's do this, alright. So I haven't fought anybody in a while, so let's see how this goes. Right, combos, break down, fight off, look at this, you can't stop me, I'm the Batman. Yeah, combo, oh, right in the face, that guy's dead. Really, this game is quite mesmerizing. I mean, when we're talking about some of the greatest games, besides, you know, how fun they are, it's also a matter of, is it believable? I mean, I know I'm not the Batman. I know I can't jump off of fucking 30-story tall buildings with a grappling gun and just fight people, but at the same time, this is something where I can build that world. I mean, look at this. As I just go throughout, and right here, rocking the Michael Keaton Batman skin. Batman and Batman Returns were two of the greatest movies of all time, and Michael Keaton is my Batman. Besides Ben Affleck, he's also good. See, all of these things that I can do? Fuck yeah, look at this. You can't stop me. Batman would totally do that. And it's so seamless as I go through and just fuck people up. But it's all for justice, so it's okay. Batman transcends, because you can read through him in comics. You can watch Christopher Nolan movies. But only through the video game can you fully immerse yourself into being the Dark Knight himself. You become the icon. And let the villains tremble. You're not somebody to be fucked with. Batman doesn't play. He hits hard, he hits fast, and he's a fucking detective. On top of that, he's terrifying because he is an urban legend. A lot of people don't see him, so it's a legend of his, you know, him fucking people up. So when you actually see Batman, you know, being surrounded by people, he's not messing around. He's going to mess you up. And look at this. That guy just came at me because he's showing no fear because they're all at me. But what happens every time I make short work of them because I am the Batman? And this is something that's explored in all the graphic novels, in the movies. Batman is somebody that you don't play around with, and that's what makes this game so much fun. Look at that. Just threw that guy. Can't stop me. Can't stop, won't stop, ever. And now, I'm going to be interrogating this guy. Motherfucker. Look at that. Does it get any cooler than that? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright. I didn't like that. Too bad. Dead. And see, this is what this game's supposed to be. Fun. 
I mean, at the end of the day, it's supposed to be fun. There's riddles, there's challenges, and there's a really substantial story that's on par with a lot of the comic books and why we like Batman so much. But it's fun, because you get to fight so much. And let's try this again. Let's interrogate this guy. Where's the Riddler? Riddler, tell me everything. I'm asking nicely. See, if this was happening in real life, I'd shit my pants. Thanks. And it's over. You're right. We need to be gentle. Can't get too carried away. We want you around for as long as possible, my friend. <laughs> Batman is so dramatic as he swoops down, but that's how he's written. And there's so many Batman stories. And that's why people love him. We hear the iconic stories. The Dark Knight Returns, Year One, The Long Halloween, Under the Red Hood, The Killing Joke. But when he's written correctly, in a certain way, and so many different writers have tried their hands at this great character. Grant Morrison, psychedelic experimentation with the Bat God idea. Jeff Loeb, epitomized Batman, the world's greatest detective. Frank Miller, he returned Batman to darkness, to greediness. And Paul Dini, he charged the Cape Crusaders' humanism. These are the essential writers. And even now, with the New 52, Scott Snyder masterfully crafted Batman's mythology with new villains and reimagined origins. A reboot that enhanced Batman's storied career. Stories like Court of Owls, Zero Year, Bloom, and even Joker's uh, love letter to Batman, The Death of the Family, and then his sinister Opus Masterstroke, Endgame. And even right now, currently with Rebirth, God, I love I Am Suicide. I love I Am Gotham. It furthers Batman's legacy in grand and thematic fashion. Intricate, stylized, amazing. And so when Batman is written with passion, with anger, with humanity, themes that's both insightful and reflective, Batman is more than myth. He becomes a part of you. He becomes part of your fears, your struggles, your accomplishments, your hopes and dreams. And that's why this game is so important, because I get to play all of that and have fun with it Thank along God. the way. I've been listening to them talk about how they were going to kill me for the last 20 minutes. And those of you watching right now had to listen to me mind. ramble about the essential Batman collection. Thank God. I just love Batman. What about the chief? Still missing. Oh, damn it. You think he's okay, right? I'll find him. Don't worry. Why do these bad guys even try to fight me? Look at this. That guy's dead. Critical strikes, cape stun, beat your ass down. Look at that. And I mean, again, I'm not a professional gamer. Uh, the selling points of this game is the intricate combat system. I mean, it's fun, as you can see. Uh, but the point of the combat is timing. You get rewarded for both accuracy and timing. So, like, as you can see, you know, those little things come up, and so I can counter as necessary. Show these guys what it means to be the Batman. So, button mashing isn't helpful at all. It's something that I haven't mastered yet. You have to be rewarded for both accuracy and timing. Because look at me, how terrifying I am. Come at me, look at these. Get out of here. Right there, go, see? Go. You run away from the Batman. A GCPD helicopter reported a hostage situation in Rockin' the Arkham Officer, Origins one of the skin. Arkham Origins the was such a great Batman game. Didn't get enough respect as it deserved. But let's go save this firefighter. Because the firefighters, the police officers, you know, those are the real heroes of this world. And I mean, this fantasy... This awesome crime fantasy. I get to be the Batman. Take on the bad guys. Ooh, you think you can get away? Nope. Can't get away from me. <laughs> that guy got thrown hella far. Another selling point for this game is sometimes you gotta be fucking sneaky. If you're the kind of person that likes Tenchu, or if you like, you know, the Metal Gear Solid, sometimes you gotta be quiet and kinda have to sneak up on your enemies. This is an element of the game that I'm not the best at. I try, but then I just end up getting shotgun in the face. See right there. Could have been more sneaky. Look at that. Mm, visually beautiful. Gotta run away. Alright. Let's see. I'm trying to save this firefighter, but I gotta get rid of all these guys first. Look at these fools. Just going over there. You gotta go over there. I'm gonna get you. Man, look at that. See? Got shot in the face. It happens. It always turns into chaos. I'll sneaky kill one or two dudes, and then they get me. Smoke bomb. So now I am the knight. It can't see me. Oh, gonna get shot. Go. Look at that. See right there. Thank God for this armor. If I don't have armor, I'd be a dead Bruce Wayne. 
pounding this guy's chest. <laughs> that guy. Batman doesn't kill people, I get that, but looking at some of these moves, like that would totally break a collarbone. Getting punched in the head right here, bam, or right in the sternum. You don't, you don't come back, you don't wake up from that. Oh, got shot again. Look, kick to the back of the head, really twitch. I'm just a dangerous motherfucker. Gotcha, Mr. Fireman. I didn't expect to see anyone, least of all you. You were the last person to see the chief. What happened? Batman's training regimen is no joke. I mean, how do you do this? <laughs> right there again. I mean, I gotta be a master of like around a hundred something martial arts, right? I mean, the comics say that I've basically mastered every known type of martial art in the world. So we got a little bit of Taekwondo, some Muay Thai, Kendo, Kung Fu, Judo, some fast hands, boxing, you know. And then when that doesn't work, got my Batmobile. Just to kill people. Oh, that guy over there is running away. You don't run from Batman. I'm gonna get you. He's still running. Got him. See, other car ran away. He knew. He knew better. Oh. Right there. See, that guy's not gonna wake up. There's no hospital nearby. Also, going around the city, finding these little missions. There's so many things to do besides the main story. Just to get power up points. Finding all these cool things, blowing them up in the sky. Causing mayhem for all the bad guys. I am organized chaos. Look at that. These guys just... They, they're not on par with my awesome skills. Well, there's Firefly. It's over, Firefly. By far, chasing that son of a bitch is hard. Oh, looks like I found the chief. I'm just gonna put this guy night night right now. There he is. See, I can be gentle. Don't worry, man. I'll come back for you. Just gotta stake out the area to make sure I don't get shot at. Fear approach. See, so many different ways to fight in this game. What's up, fun? It looks, and it's all so thematic. I feel like I'm a little in a little movie. Oh, no, no. See, got him. Dead. Hit, hit, bam. Right there. Again, right in the chest. That guy's not getting up. Okay, you just get lost in hours playing this game. Look how pretty it is. And then the music just picks up. It just feels like I'm in a little movie. Batman ever feels bad for hitting these people as hard as he does, but at the same time, they're all bad guys, so I guess it's like one of those like hard lessons you learn the hard way. Here we go, the chief I've been hearing so much about. Gotcha, sir. My men, are they okay? Your men think a lot of you, Captain. They trust you. You know, don't you? I know you would do anything for your men, even if that meant aiding and abetting a known arsonist. Oh. It was you who gave fire. That man's too good. He can't keep things from abandoned buildings. I He's not called the world's the greatest detective for no reason. No one was hurt. You put your men in danger. The city was shutting us down. I couldn't let them do it. I couldn't. And while there was an arsonist at large in Gotham, your men would keep their jobs. They've got families. They gave their lives to the city. I made a promise to them. I couldn't break it. You understand that, right? The police will want to question you at GCPD. Batman doesn't play. Ever. This is your seat, Chief. Riding in the Batman's car. My little girl's gonna be jealous. Also, I'm a really bad driver in this game. You use the Batman wheel way too much. Try and make sure the men don't find out. I want to be the one who tells them. You're right. They deserve that much. Justice. And so, that's it. 
I hope you enjoyed watching me play this video game. Again, disclaimer, I'm not a professional gamer. The whole reason I do this is because sometimes I just want to share my love for certain games and I can go back and I can rewatch to the days when I played video games, I guess, semi all right. Please, if you haven't played this game, please check it out because Arkham Knight is a masterstroke in both visual stunningness and also just combat style that really lives up to the legend that is Batman. If you want to have a good time, do sweet, wicked combos like this, this is the game for you. Because I am the Batman. Batman Arkham Knight is a really fun, fun game.